Have you guys ever had those times with your Mark IV Jetta Golf, or I think Beetle as well, where you just can't open your glove box? The handle's gone. Well, I still have the handle. I think. Yeah, right here. But, does it work? Halfway, but you can't make it work. So then you have to put your finger up in here and finger it out to make it work. Well that's pretty annoying, don't you think? That's why in this video I'm showing you how to change your glove box in your Mark IV Jetta, Golf, or I think Beetle as well. Let's get to it. Okay, for the first step of this, what you'll need to do is pop off this cover here. Which, it's really simple in these cars. All you gotta do is Open up your glove box again and pull it off. Simple as that. Really easy to do on these cars. And that I'm just going to put on the driver's seat for now, saying as I'm not sitting on it. Now there's some screws. Apparently there's one that's already loose. That's one of them. Makes me think this glove box has been replaced already, but otherwise there is three Torx screws right up here and three right down here. There's also another one back here, but we're just going to break that off because it's nearly impossible. So, when I close that, I'm going to show you guys the other six so far. See right there. Uh, let me get you re-angled. Right there, there, and there, and then there, there, and there. So there's six total on top of this one here. Put you back on the tripod. And I'll get these dismounted. Okay, so now that I've gotten all the screws out that hold it in place, yeah, as you can see, it's just flopping around like crazy. Just pull it like so. And there is a cord right back here that you will have to disconnect using a flathead, which let me get that. Got to get. All right, I'm gonna get the flathead. Got my flathead now. And you just have to pop a connector right here for the light that is in the glove box. There's one. And you've also got this uh, this here, which is just a sensor to sense the glove box closed or open. Now that that's out, the whole glove box is out. So now your glove box is out. And this might be a good time to inspect anything back here that may need fixing. But in my case, there is nothing. So, I'm just going to grab the new glove box, and I'll be right back. Now, while I'm here, I'm going to tell you, there's many failures on these glove boxes. It's not just that handle. It could be anything from the handle to the uh, switch, then here to the light, to you name it, they fail on it. And one of the most common ones is also these hinging points right here break. And your glove box door cannot hold itself open anymore. And it just flops and drops as soon as you press to open it. 
So yeah, that's a, that's the other failures these glove boxes get. Now I don't believe I can use this switch on the new glove box, but I'm not worried about that. Because I can just tape it in and it'll be fine. I don't need a glove box light anyways to be honest. In fact, I'm just going to leave it unplugged because I don't need it. So, let's just put this up here somewhere. And we'll get to putting this in. Now there is a tab right here. It is broken off on this one because, well, typically they do break. In my case, it actually didn't break surprisingly when I took my glove box out. So let's get to putting this one in again. And putting them back in is pretty easy. All you have to do is I'm going to have hold it up like this. Bring it up. And I think I may have to remove this piece. I don't know. I'm going to try to fit it in right now. But I may have to do some removal of uh, brackets. And yes, I'm going to have to. So, let me show you. Because I'm doing an upgrade as well as a change. So, this bracket right here. Does that mount above there too? Uh, yeah, it does. So there's a screw right here and a screw right here, which I don't know how I'm going to reach that one yet, but figure it away. I have to get this bracket off, though. So I'll get this bracket off, and then I'll show you how to bit, get the glove box okay, in. Okay, guys. So it's really warm out here, but I did finally get that bracket off. I tried a whole bunch of different things. First, I tried to get a ratchet in there. Didn't work. It's right up about an inch away from the airbag. And then I tried vice gripping to a drill bit to spin it off. Didn't work. There wasn't enough clearance for that even. Now I know you could do maybe the... What's it called? Um, not a ratchet. Uh, wrench. A wrench on a bit. I think it's quarter inch that you need maybe 5 16 something like that you could try that on a drill bit and that might work but what I found worked was a since it's a T30 I used a number four Allen key and it worked perfect it took it right off so this piece see ya don't have room for it anymore since I got the upgraded glove box, which is bigger. Now there's two glove boxes. There's the little one like my car came with, and there's the big one like I got. I wanted the big one because oh, this car doesn't have much storage. So now I'm going to re-aim you over here, and we'll get to putting this one back in. It's pretty much the reverse, but I'll show you. There's a couple differences with this one that the other one didn't have. Actually, rather, it had that this one doesn't. So yeah. I'll be right back guys. Well, one second literally. Okay, so it took me about 10 minutes to get this thing out. So how this it goes, it goes up like this into the dash. There's a bolt right here, there's a bolt right here, and there's a bolt right here. Now this bolt here you can only access one way, a wrench. So and you can only get an eighth to a quarter turn on it at a time. So it takes a very long time to get this bolt out, but it's out now, and it's gone. So now let's try this again. Got my Torx right there, and slide this in. That's how it's supposed to go in now. There we go, perfect. Now we can open up the glove box and 
What's in here? Is this the right one? It is perfect. So now what you'll do is just Hmm. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> it gets ratchet it is. So, put your screws, your torque screws But I guess I will have to line this up again and make sure they're lined up. Because they're not lined up right now. I think that's the only one that wasn't. So, let's start this again. Spin these up. And I'll show you once it's done. And it's done. All three Torx bolts are back in down here. All three are back in over here. All the necessary bracketry to make your glove box from a small one to a big one are gone. Your side cover's back on your dash. And it's all joined back up over here. So, that's how you change out a glove box and upgrade it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite, and share this video, as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day, everyone.